Hey guys, so um, Katie and I are driving. <laughs> We've been showing houses all, uh, all morning long over at the beach, but um, just want to take a second and talk about some interesting stuff. Things that when we first got into real estate, we, no, I would say what before we got into real estate, uh, we just didn't know about. Before we got into real estate, we were active duty, we were active duty military. Uh, we were in San Diego Station out there. Um, we were actually working together. And we were coming out here to Jacksonville, so we're like, oh, let's see if we can qualify to buy a home in Jacksonville. Not knowing that we needed a job before you can get income. income. <laughs> we can get to that story later. But so we went online. Uh, I don't know if I was looking on Zillow or somewhere, but uh, there was a link for a big time lender nationwide. And I clicked on their banner ad because it's, you know, I thought it was a VA loan. You had to go through a specific company. I thought that's how VA loans worked. So I clicked on it, got pre-approved pretty quickly, and uh, hey, we'll, we'll do the process. I was like, wow, this is great. We can go shopping, but not once did I know that you actually needed a job <laughs> to get pre-qualified. Like getting out of the Navy, going into a, over to real estate, did not qualify for that. But, so, you know, we just kept going with that, no big deal. Uh, I think asked what's you, that? did somebody follow up with you? They like, did. They did. Remember we were driving cross country and that guy called me. We were in the Bass Pro Shop and they called me. That's right. <laughs> He's like, hey, someone's checking in the status of your loan. I was like, oh, we're actually not buying. Like, yeah, we can't buy a house. This <laughs> we don't actually don't have a job going yeah. in. He's like, oh, should probably ask you that before. Yeah. So, um, reason for this video is because we had another military family kind of run into a similar situation where um, they got approved with this family with this company. And everything was going well, and it still is. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna put done a heck of a job, and they do great work actually. But they charge this thing called a, a loan origination fee. And if you're a lender and you're watching this, and I get this wrong, please correct me in the comments below. But I believe the government can only charge you up to one percent of the loan amount, and that's it. Like they, they can max out up to one percent, but they can't go any any higher than that, but they can go lower than that. But it's an optional fee. It's not required. It's not necessary. Um, and we just feel like it's, if you're a veteran and you're doing your VA loan, there's no reason for this because that 1% gets charged into your closing costs. And typically we're seeing closing costs about 3% of the purchase, from the purchase price of the home when a VA is actually the loan amount. So you tack on the additional 1%, that's 3% plus 1%, so that's at 4%. So that's like, whoa, that's a lot more money that you really don't need to be paying for. So like on a $200,000 house, that's like from 6,000 to 8,000 basically. Right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, you know, we, so, yeah, we did, we helped this family out, switched them up from uh, one lender, the one that charged that loan origination fee to another one that honors veterans and hooks them up and does not charge that loan origination fee. Um, and got a better and interest better, rate. Got a better interest rate by a quarter point. So if you guys are out there and you're just learning about the process and don't even know where to start, the um, reason we say start with a real estate agent is because a real estate agent, specifically for military buyers that's well-versed in the VA loan, knows lenders in town that are trying to take care of you. And that's a good place to start. At least kind of talk initial rough numbers. Uh, we generalize all the information we try to give out there about the, like 3% for closing costs or, you know, how much your earnest money binder deposit's gonna be or inspection fees, appraisal fees. Everything's generalized, but really just try to give you as much information up front as possible. Um, Buyer's agents are free, so it's very low. Low risk. Yeah, a zero dollar <laughs> investment. Get some, get some information. Um, so yeah. Big takeaway here is shop around. Shop around. Shop around for your interest rate. Ask them what kind of fees they're charging you. And um, don't pay for a loan origination fee. <laughs> you don't have to. You do not have to. And uh, if you need help with finding lenders um, or even just talking about the process, happy to just uh, share some more information. Uh, we're going to be doing a video series here soon, just kind of breaking down things like closing costs, finder deposits, home inspections. Um, how to get started, what's the buying process looks like from the beginning, and just kind of walk it through. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions on, I don't know where to start and what, what the process looks like. Um, so we just want to kind of put that information out there and, and hook it up. If you have a topic you want us to address, you can comment about it. We'll 
Yeah, please do. Please do. That's how we learn. We learn from you guys. So yeah. We know what you want to hear about, and uh, we'll do our best to put it out there. Yeah. Have a great day.